Somebody once said it was the highest compliment that somebody paid to me was, was uh, that they said to me that, that I'd written the kind of book that Emer would have been proud of. And that meant a great deal to me. Well, Emer wanted me to help to share her story. There were a few aspects of that that were important to her. One, there was a delay in her diagnosis. She was diagnosed with a cancer that wasn't that common, understandable perhaps that there was a delay in that diagnosis. Uh, there was also then, towards the end of her life, an important point we came to her in her medical care where it was clear to us that the treatment wasn't as effective as it had been in earlier parts of her, her treatment. And so the question about maybe continuing treatment and the, and the value of that, uh, and that led to a discussion with the medical teams that allowed us, in fact, to stop treatment. She came home for what was our final Christmas. Uh, rather than being in hospital and being subject to continued treatment that was having no effect but giving her side effects, and having both the knowledge that we had as doctors, but also the courage to be able to have those conversations with the medical teams, meant that we had a really good family Christmas where for a period of time, she was free of drugs, free of radiotherapy, and free of the side effects of all of those. And we thought that was an important message um, also to get out and that these things uh, are things that we should be discussing. And then the third was the, the preparation, if you like, for the inevitability of death and the think ahead materials that the Irish Hospice Foundation produce that help to structure conversations that people don't want, I suppose, ever to, to be having, but to help to make those conversations easier. It feels good. I mean, obviously, the purpose in writing the book uh, is to bring light onto some of the experiences I had and maybe some of the things that we learned as a family along the way in dealing with the significant illness that my wife had. And to the extent that this will help in terms of getting that message out, it, it is aligned, if you like, with my motivation for writing the book. So I'm, so I'm very pleased for that reason first time in a very long time, the feeling that I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing in six months. And given the kind of life that I've had and from study and training as a doctor and going into the workload or the work life that I lived, uh, this is a new, completely new feeling for me. And at the moment, I'm, I'm enjoying that. And the book's been a big part of that.